Online random generators can really spice up a D&D game. It can make things much more interesting for your players and for you as the DM. I'm going to showcase some of my favorite online random generators, and I will share the links in the uh, description below. Please let me know if you have any of your own favorites. The first three that I'm going to showcase are from the Wizards of the Coast website. These are some old generators from the 3.5 edition of the game. And even though they're old, they can still be interesting and useful for 5e. I like to keep these around and sort of ignore the gold value just so I can get some out there ideas of random stuff that my players might find. So, for example, you can go into Options and you can kind of check off boxes. Uh, I don't like to leave any magic items in there. Um, I don't like to leave any uh, armor or weapons because, you know, these are generally going to be uh, things that are just going to be in like a storeroom. So for example here we have uh, just a small barrel and it's 1d1 barrels, so it's going to be one small barrel. Let's see what's inside. Ah, see? So that generated a unique arcane materials, which is very generic, and apparently that's way too much gold. So of course you can see why I don't like using the gold amounts here. Uh, let's uh, clear that, let's try again. Uh, this time, of course, we can get some onions. So this is some dried onions weighing 128 pounds, uh, and apparently dried onions would be worth 1,042 gold pieces uh, so yeah so you can see the gold value on this is a little bit wonky uh, let's do one more that has crates and sacks and barrels all small and see what pops up see we have some small yellow glass frog figurines which is interesting we have some copper which is just a uh, metal and we have some sunflower oil which is very nice so yeah uh, so that'll just give you an idea of what your players might find in a room uh, you can also just do a room area and just fill it. Let's just fill a room 50% full of just random stuff. And this will fill it up with uh, small sacks and whatnot. Um, there's uh, eight small sacks here filled with random stuff. Some lentils. Some spices. So yeah, interesting stuff. And of course, then your players would have to kind of use their skills to figure out what stuff is worth the most, because uh, now we're talking about encumbrance and stuff, and you'll have to let the players know that they're not going to be able to just grab everything that they see and take it. They'll have to make a choice to, to what they're going to take. So Interesting stuff, though. Again, I, these are from older editions, so I'd like to use this just as a general uh, idea thing. You know. There's the random tavern slash menu generator. What this will do is randomly generate a the basic information for a tavern and also the menu for that day. So let's just generate a completely random tavern and see what we get. Uh, a, this is a noble tavern, which means this is the best one possible. Um, so you can use your 5th edition book to let you know how much it would rates it would be. Um, oh, look at this. Now for lunch, they're actually serving boule fin, which is obviously, you know, two gold pieces for a lunch, but that's certainly a very, very uh, exotic di lunch there. A boule fin. Bullet. Again, I don't know if you're supposed to call it a boule or if you're supposed to call it a bullet. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And of course, the instant dragon generator. This generator is very interesting, and again, uh, you don't really want to use the challenge rating or anything because this is all for a previous edition. But this will just give you some ideas if you're wondering, well, how can I introduce a dragon to, into the game? You know, you might want to consider using this. Let's hit generate. Yeah, see, this is a very descriptive uh, layer description of this horrible little black, uh, very young dragon. Um, so, yeah. Interesting stuff. Generate again. Green dragon, very nice. You know, <laughs> see, I love little stuff like this. Here and there, small logs of an odd white wood lie covered with lichen and other greenery. Then you notice they're not logs, but bones. See, that's just just classic stuff. I love I love running into that stuff that I can add it into my game. Uh, and we're gonna go to the next thing now. This is the Don John <laughs> random generator, and this thing has it all. 
It's got uh, monsters. It's got you can. It's got random generators for uh, dungeons, encounters, magic shops, random treasure. It's amazingly good. Uh, the treasure generator is interesting because you know you can whatever the CR is that you can just do hoard. So we're gonna click uh, CR. You know, let's just CR one. Let's do a treasure hold for a relatively small creature. And uh, boom! See, you can get some interesting stuff. You know, and again, this is good if you just want to do some stuff super, super quick without uh, rolling out. I like rolling out stuff, um, but uh, yeah, this this website has a bunch of different things. The other interesting thing is the weird magic item. So I just rolled up a potion of chimeric transfer transformation. When you drink this po when you drink this meaty potion. <laughs> Uh, you are polymorphed into a black bear with the head of a boar for one hour. So that's pretty cool. So you can get some real out there ideas of stuff to do. So the dungeon uh, random generators are really nice. Uh, and you should definitely check that out. This is the Kobold Fight Club and this is the encounter generator there. It's pretty great. Uh, you can create all sorts of weird encounters. Uh, I generated one for eight Cobalt Inventors, which would be a, a chaotic fight, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, you can do the max CR, um, and then you can choose any alignment. I generally like to, you know, figure out what my party has been doing and who they're going to be pissing off. And then I like to go from there. Let's just say any evil, and let's just go for the classic dungeon. Set the sources, so we can use uh, Curse of Strahd, Monster Manual, Player's Handbook... Volo, Storm Kings, and let's set the number of players to four, let's set their level to five, and let's do a deadly encounter. Ooh, so then they're going to be going against a Bone Naga in five Doragar. Very interesting. Um, and you can just do this until, you can just keep on clicking until you come up with something that's like super interesting. Um, so... Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Half Ogres, always nice to throw in stuff that you don't see every day. Shadow Demons. Yeah, lots of interesting stuff. And you can do random easy ones if you want to throw a quick encounter at your players. Eight Skeletons, classic stuff. So yeah, this is really interesting. It's, it's, it's good for coming up with ideas of what you want to throw at your players without completely overwhelming them. I know a lot of people have been talking about the new book, the, uh, <laughs> the Guide to Everything book, which just came out, which has the new rules for, rant, for encounter generating. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be looking into that a little bit more because I actually liked the encounter information stuff in the DMG. Um, but uh, a lot of people didn't, so uh, I will have to check and see what's going on. I, I, like, I like this stuff. I've used Cobalt Fight Club before, and it seems pretty dead on about uh, the, uh, the ease of use in terms of generating something that's not going to exactly kill your party of four level five people. So, yeah, so I would check that out as well. Cobalt Fight Club. And finally, uh, last but certainly not least, the Dragon Plus article for What's in the Bag. This was a community poll that Wizards of the Coast did to find out what might be in a giant's uh, bag, which is really amazing. So they did a D100 chart of all this random stuff that might be in the giant sack, which is just amazing stuff. Like everything from a massive egg of unknown origin to... You know, just the uh, uh, the sculpture of an illithid. A uh, I, I always like number eighty six. That's the one I rolled <laughs> when my players were playing this. A uh, gnome that's been secretly living inside the bag uh, <laughs> because they're afraid of the giant. Uh, that was a great one uh, because it was a gnome who found that. So a gnome freed his fellow gnome, and it was an interesting little moment and stuff. So yeah, this is great. Uh, you know, the the one in the actual Storm King's Thunder was kind of lame. It seemed to be really more uh, hinged towards uh, hill giants. There wasn't, there didn't really seem to be that much interesting stuff. This year, there's stuff that might or might not be game-breaking because this is a community item. So, like, there's stuff like a Medusa's head in here. There's stuff that might screw up your game. But again, I kind of like that because you never know what your players are going to do with your items. 
Uh, they might be super creative with an item that might not seem important or useful, and they might use it in a very creative way. Um, so, I, you know, I love using stuff like this because it keeps me on my toes as a DM as well. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at random generators online. I know there's a ton more. If there's ones that you enjoy using, please let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I'm going to be doing my regular videos on miniatures and crafting as we go along. Uh, so you guys have a very nice week, and I will see you as soon as I can get a new video together.